wouldn't say frustrating. We ran the ball pretty well. Uh, we just, you know, got to execute on third downs and uh, get ourselves out. You know, without, without having all these penalties and goodness and first and long, second and long. You feel like you were open to down, and I know there were a couple of back here when you got there, and they weren't able to get it to you. Yeah, uh, I was open a few times. Uh, you know, quarterback had some pressure, couldn't look at me, and uh, you know, that's part of football. <laughs> Willie said he knows you guys really can't play from behind at this point, the way the offense is playing. On those first drives when you know you have a chance to get ahead, do you feel like you guys are pressing at all to get some scores? Do you guys think about that? To pressing? Do you feel like you're, you guys are pressing to execute well? Uh, I wouldn't pressure. say that. You know, it's stuff that we work on every single day. We just have to go out there and execute, and today we're going to do that. Willie said that Braxton and Taylor look better in practice than they show on the field. What What's different practice versus performance? Practice is practice, and a game is a game. Coach said you guys wouldn't be demoralized after this. What was the, the locker room like after this one? Uh, I mean, everybody's kind of down, but that's that's how it is after a loss. You know, we'll pick it back up tomorrow, put this loss behind us, and get ready for next week. Coach said that Herb Marshall took a lot better in practice than he has on game day. Have you noticed that, and why do you think he's not performing the same way as you? Um, like I said, practice is practice, a game's a game. What does that mean, though? It's, just it's different in practice than it is in a game. So game he likes to want his competition as fast, he's not doing that. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is practice is practice. We're going against our own guys. We're going against scouts. We're not going against the real team. We right. get out there in a the game. We're going against somebody else. Different competition. You know, different. They, 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 they scheme up for us. We scheme up for them. It's different. Charles, as a senior, how do you kind of get Burmeister and a lot of these freshmen you're playing with? up to speed so you can, you know, accomplish things this season? Uh, you just got to pull them aside, talk to them, you know, tell them everything's going to be okay, you know. Uh, basically tell them all the bad plays that they've done, put it behind them and get ready for the next play. Uh, just nothing different. We did what they always did. I just think he wasn't just fully aware of the situation. It's, um, just got to be better on that. Just expect more, no, just no more things before it happens. So. All week it was Bryce Love talk. You guys knew that was going to be the thing they went to. He still got off for I think 115 yards in his first five carries. What was what was so different about him in person that even though you knew it was coming, it was hard to stop. Well, just the how we started off with the game. You know, he didn't even finish out the game. So I mean, he got his yards really just <laughs> sat out. But um, like I said, just the way we started. You know, it's been we're usually coming out the second half, and you know, we, we really had uh, problems with you know just coming out second half and playing. It. Playing, but I think today we just didn't come out just from the start. Um, Stanford's a physical game, and to win this game, we just had to be ready to play all four quarters. And I just think we did that today. Stanford's a team that likes to get the ball out really quick. Did you see that frustrate the front seven at all? Um, like I said, we just had to be more aware. Um, they were just trying to uh, catch us when we were asleep, you know, run the ball down our throats, and then, you know, play action, max protection, and just catch us on the deep ball, taking shots. Um, they're good at doing that, um, and they won a lot of those today. So we just got to do a good job and just eliminating the penalties and just uh, not just giving it up so easy, just fighting. So you guys felt like you weren't physical enough out there today? Um, at a point, um, it took till our coaches had to you know yell at us and you know just wake us up. I mean, we would have came out from the jump and just played like how we did, and then it wouldn't have got out of hand. But I mean, it's on us. You know, we got to got to play. The coaches can't play for us. So. You know, we got to do our job. As someone who's on the defensive side of the ball, how difficult is it to watch your offense struggle in the passing game these past couple weeks? Yeah. Um, well, it's a team game. You know, you can't play one side of the ball. Um, they're struggling, and the defense has to step up and make some plays for them. I mean, Stanford did that for their offense. You know, they've been playing both. They play on both sides of the ball. So, I mean, we just got to play better as a team. Um, uh, keep guys up and, you know, when things aren't going their way, you know, just flush it and just move on to the next play. I think we need to do a better job at that.